Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that gives you all that extra material you need to really appreciate this Excel 6e webisode. Today I'm joined by one of our interns, Gale Mancheva. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Great. I heard that you really, really been looking forward to be part of this Hacking the Exile show. Really a lot. <laughs> Basically every week you've been bantering me about when is it your turn to be filmed for this. Indeed, I'm happy you remember. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's hard not to remember. But uh, you were actually portrayed in the second episode of, of the show this season, uh, together with our, all the other new interns. Yes. So let's have a look at that. Hi, my name is Galia Mancheva. I'm from Bulgaria. I'm graduated in Masters of New Media Communications and I'm the new intern for 2013 at Amelia's office. My main tasks are going to be related to data protection and internet neutrality. I hope that I would have a personal input into the matters going on in the internet neutrality debates. Okay, uh, what are your thoughts? Is, is, have anything changed from back then? Or is, is what you thought then still what's valid now? It is in a way valid, but it has expanded a little bit more. Um, in what way? Well, uh, in the sense that uh, at that time I did not have a clear picture of what would be my participation in whole activities. Do you have that now? More or less, yes. More or less? Yeah, well, in the big parts, yeah. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, let us know at office so we know as well, because most of us just do things that are happening in front of us most of the time. Uh, okay, so, and what are those extra things that, that you are more, have a more clear picture of now? Uh, well, things that are related more to the uh, policy issues and um, more related to the topic I am, I I've been hired for. Um, about the data protection and the internet neutrality and cyber security and all the related issues. Uh, I attended many events and discussions uh, on those topics and picture is more clear. About, I have a question about all these events happening in the European Parliament. Shoot. Aren't they just a big waste of time? No. You sure? Not for me. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm happy they're good for someone. For me, it just fill my schedule with meeting after meeting after meeting. Well, for me, it's a very uh, good way of networking and having um, very uh, summarized information of what is actually going on um, and also get some details. Uh, and just before we started the interview, we, we agreed that you're not blonde, which means that you're not Swedish. <laughs> so, so how, how did you end up working for a Swedish parliamentarian? Um, well, I applied for an internship uh, at the office. Uh, for me, it, there was no uh, question on whether I should apply because I am or I am not Swedish. Okay. So you picked an MEP at random and you applied? No, I picked an MEP because of my background. Um, I uh, did a thesis on downloading um, music and creative content from peer-to-peer -peer platforms and torrent sites and file sharing sites and everything related to that. So um, I attended some of the events organized by uh, you, by the office. Mm -hmm. and. Um, this is how I decided that it's a right place for me to apply for an internship. Any regrets? No. You sure? Maybe that I didn't start earlier. <laughs> well, I'm sure you had your reasons, but, but now you're here. And yes. uh, let's go back to the webisodes that we're making. Okay. Uh, you are one of the persons always eager to be on camera always asking to be in front uh, uh, of, of the camera so that you can be part of the you show. Can, you can tell, right? Uh, <laughs> camera just loves me. What, why, why is that? Why is you always pushing to be in front I of the camera? I have a very high ego. <laughs> well, then I'm, I'm sure that helps you fit in with the office. Uh, okay. But uh, if, if you could control the entire show, in what direction would you take it? What would you add? Except for, of course, more footage of, of you doing stuff. Mm. Well only footage of me doing stuff. You would only have it about you? Yeah, yeah of course. It would be, we could make a spin-off, the, <laughs> the Exile Gallia series. It, it would fill my narcissism. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, I, I will keep that in mind. We will discuss it with Juni, who is the I'm one sure filming the show. I'm sure he's going to love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine that he will have any problem with getting more work on his table. So uh, we, we'll keep it in mind. For, for the rest of the show, for the rest of us, how, how, what would you change? Um, to be honest, I am actually very happy at the office, so I wouldn't change something about the people or the direction they are taking. So. I'm okay, quite everything happy. Everything will stay the same. Uh, I'm pretty sure life doesn't work that way, but... Uh, <laughs> no, not the same going forward, but uh, not, in, um, not in the features and characteristics of the people. Okay. So we will all stay the same while the world goes onward. Mm, no, we will go forward. We're going forward. In what direction? Uh, straight. Okay. Because or we're... Homo. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we will see which direction we will be going in future episodes. I'm pretty sure you will pop up in more of them. And I'm, I'm very happy to have had you here. So... Um, I'm happy you had me here. Well, and I hope the viewers are, are happy as well. And uh, thank you for coming. And I will see you again in two weeks.